This tutorial explains how to increase the space between ggplot2 facet plot panels in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example, and this example is based on the data frame that we can create with lines 2 to 4 of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame object is appearing, which is called data. And if you click on this data frame, a new window is opened, which is showing the structure of our data frame. And as you can see, our data contains six rows and three columns, whereby the columns X and Y contain numeric values, and the column group is a group indicator. So if we want to draw these data using the ggplot2 package, we also need to install and load the ggplot2 package, as you can see in lines 6 and 7 of the code. I have installed this package already, so for that reason I'm just going to load it with line 7 of the code. And after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the ggplot2 package, such as ggplot, geomline, and facetwrap. So if you run lines 9 to 11 of the code, a new ggplot plot object is created at the top right of RStudio, which is called ggp. And we can draw this plot to the bottom right by running line 12 of the code. So after running this line of code, you can see that we have created a facet grid plot. And you can see this plot has three panels. And you can also see that the space between these panels is relatively thin. So let's assume that we want to increase the space between these panels. Then we can apply the code that you can see in lines 14 and 15 of the code. So in these lines of code, I'm first using our plot object that we have created in the previous code as basement. And then I'm adding to this the theme function. And within the theme function, I'm specifying the panel spacing to be equal to unit three. And I'm specifying the unit to be equal to centimeters. So if you run lines 14 and 15 of the code, you can see that our plot is updated. And this time, the spacing between the panels has been increased. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video, so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.